What up, family? The world been wondering, everybody been wondering what's going to go on with this takeoff situation, right? Because we ain't been hearing nothing in the news when it comes to what happened pretty much, right? Now, we all know the demo that they was out in the ace town. We know that they checked in with the Prince family, right? Mob ties. And these individuals, like mob ties that move like they move, fam, um, even the Migos, you know, you have shooters around you or somebody around you, fam, to uh, protect situations. So it's a natural thing for rappers or CEOs or whatever to have shooters around them, fam, because we in a dangerous game like that. The hip-hop game is really discreet because you got street dudes that's in the hip-hop game. You feel what I'm saying? Now, soon as this situation went down, uh, bloggers went to being detectives themselves, even Texas bloggers, and they was, you know, noticing people in the camera when it come to who was all around, and they know Lil' Cam is a shooter found for J. Prince Jr., and people know how he get down in the H-Town, Fifth Ward Cam out there where he from, right? So his name was coming up a lot when it come to this situation. One would think, well, why would J. Prince bodyguard or shooter be the one that's so, you know, the one that's so close to J. Prince Jr. And he the one that shot takeoff or whatever the case might be because it's like, it just don't seem right with them checking in like that. One would think an underling that's in the building may have done it, not knowing, you know, the game and the ties and what's, and just acted off emotions, fam. Now, everybody was saying, look, Cam, Yes, it got back to the people because they done pick Lil' Cam up, fam, on two different gun charges, right? Now, mind you, if you already on paper like Lil' Cam and law enforcement, whatever the case might be, if they see that you got a gun on camera, it's still felony in possession of a firearm, right? So we all thinking that when it come to the situation with the detectives, that they you know they run the cameras trying to see who had gun, who had this found, and this situation have come about because it's two different gun charges when it come to Lil' Cam. It's also been word in the street fam when it come to mob ties moving around not there in Atlanta like they not welcome. You know, if they go out to the ATL, you got to look at it. The Migos had a lot of people that had love for them. They was rock stars in the hip-hop game. Changed the game, right? And you know that all these artists and different CEOs, they got the touchdown out there in the ATL as a certain, I mean, because that's the hip-hop land. You feel me? So it's going to be kind of dangerous, fam. You know, being down with mob ties or wearing any type of mob ties apparel out there in Atlanta. This situation shouldn't have never went like it went, fam. And what I mean by that is takeoff or Quavo shouldn't have never, they was too big, fam, to be in that position. When you put yourself in the crosshairs, you like to get crossed up, fam. And that what happened in this situation and takeoff had nothing to do with nothing. The shooters don't care about nothing but they count, fam, and who they rocking with. You feel me? Not no takeoff because takeoff a rapper or a Quavo. We, they, people ain't respecting that no more. You know what I'm saying? They want the rappers really gone. Like they clapping, fam, when these rappers get knocked off. And the sad thing about this situation, all this talk about takeoff when it comes to the fans and different stuff. Like it's fading out, fam. And everybody just waiting on the next rapper to uh, get killed, fam. And, and, and to keep it real with you. Is guaranteed to happen because the vibration, fam, around this hip hop game right now is pure the evil hell violence, and these situations are gonna continue to rise because the rapper got to rub shoulders with the street niggas. It always been like that, fam, but now the streets have changed to a different ball game to where it's a selfish program, and when these dudes pulling up, whether it seem like it's business or whatever the case might be, people rhyme for their people. 
in today's time. And this and it just go to show you with this mob ties situation, even though they checked in, them boys still ride with their people, fam. But I will keep y'all updated on this situation and how it turned out for Lil' Cam. But make sure you hit that like button, fam, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.